Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe optical isomerism in hydroxynitriles, and this is for the AQA and NXL specs. In the last video, we looked at the reaction between carbonyl compounds and hydrogen cyanide, and if you haven't seen that video, then you need to watch it now. Remember that both aldehydes and ketones react with hydrogen cyanide to form hydroxynitriles. I'm showing you that reaction here for ethanol. We saw that this reaction is an example of nucleophilic addition. Now, a key feature of this reaction is that it can lead to optical isomerism in the product. I'll be looking at optical isomerism in detail in another video. This video will be an overview relating just to this reaction. Remember that for optical isomerism to occur, we need to have four different groups bonded to the same carbon atom. If we look again at the reaction between an aldehyde and hydrogen cyanide, then we can see that this is the case. For example, if we start with ethanol, then the product has four different groups bonded to the same carbon atom. We have a methyl group, a hydrogen atom, a hydroxyl group, and a nitrile group. Reacting any aldehyde with hydrogen cyanide will lead to optical isomerism. I'm showing you here the two optical isomers, or enantiomers, that are formed when ethanol reacts with hydrogen cyanide. As you can see, these enantiomers are mirror images of each other. And even if we rotate these molecules, we cannot superimpose them. So these are enantiomers. Now in the case of ketones, we only see optical isomerism if the ketone is asymmetric. If we start with propanone, which is a symmetrical ketone, then we do not see optical isomerism. That's because in the product, we do not have four different groups bonded to the same carbon atom. In this case, we can see that the carbon atom is bonded to a hydroxyl group, a nitrile group, and two methyl groups. So this product does not show optical isomerism. Here's the reaction for butanone, which is an asymmetric ketone. Looking at the product, we can see that the carbon atom is bonded to a methyl group, an ethyl group, a hydroxyl group, and a nitrile group. So this product will show optical isomerism. Now there's one final point which you need to understand. When we react an aldehyde or an asymmetric ketone with hydrogen cyanide, the enantiomers are produced in equal amounts. Scientists call this a racemic mixture. We can see why by looking at the reaction mechanism. Remember that in the first stage, the cyanide ion acts as a nucleophile, forming a covalent bond to the electron deficient carbon atom. Now if the cyanide ion attacks the carbon atom from below, then we make one of the enantiomers. But if the cyanide ion attacks from above, then we make the other enantiomer. So because the cyanide ion can attack from above or below, we produce an equal mixture of the two enantiomers. In other words, we make a racemic mixture. In the next video, we look at how to test for the presence of the carbonyl group. 